Texas U.S. Senator John Cornyn is in North Texas today pushing for more prison reform. Can you punish, penalize, and stop the cycle of repeat offenders? He thinks so. R.C. Pickett is live outside Seagaville's Federal Corrections Institution where the senator planned to show off his plan to a very special guest. Steve? Yes, Special Advisor Jared Kushner, who is, by the way, the son-in-law of the President of the United States. He was scheduled to tour this facility with the senator today. That did not happen because of scheduling issues, but he got the message, we're told, nonetheless. So simply put from the senator, invest more in inmates now so you won't see them again later. Well over 100,000 men and women serve sentences in Texas jails and prisons. Senator John Cornyn today toured the Siegelville Federal Prison, touting a push to do more to help when they leave. We've neglected the, the reality that people who go to prison will get out of prison. Cornyn wants legislation to expand support for programs of job training and preparation for those being paroled from prisons. In the Dallas-Fort Worth area, that's 13 to 14,000 people a year. Programs like the Dallas Leadership Foundation, James Reed leads DLF's reentry program with state offenders. We can be able to have people who are in prison who can begin to start having the same dreams, the same passions, the same goals of being able to be a dad, to be employed, to be able to be a positive citizen in society. And it all starts right there in prison. Can you imagine coming out of prison wanting to turn your life around, but you can't get a job, you don't have the skills, or you can't find somebody willing to hire you, and you can't find a place to live? Uh, the senator called it his proposal a smart on crime proposal. At the bottom line was to impact crime in communities by ensuring that you do more for individuals who are coming out of these prisons. Uh, some of those individuals you saw standing behind them are part of these outreach groups doing reentry work with these individuals who leave these state and federal prisons. He said today, the senator, that he believes he has the support from the president, and he did so with the obvious uh, support of that son-in-law who was supposed to be with him here today. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News.